Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Amen. So today is Forgiveness Sunday, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about forgiveness. Forgiving is probably one of the hardest things you will ever do. In fact, it often, if we've experienced a ser serious hurt in our life, which everybody has, and if you haven't yet, you will, it can take the whole rest of your life to even get started on it. It's not easy to forgive. But forgiveness is a little bit misunderstood, so I'm going to talk a bit about uh, forgiveness. Forgiveness has two aspects. Okay? And in English, it's a little bit easy because the root of the word forgive in English is give. And so to forgive is a kind of giving. So, and giving has two parts, right? There's the giving and the receiving. So, for example, Ethan, give me my book, please. Would, give me my book. Give me my book. Will you please give me my book? Please, just give me my book. Ethan, please, I'm, I'm praying to you, I'm begging you, give me my book. Ethan, I need my book. Give me my book. <laughs> right. In other words, he may be willing to give me the book, but if I don't take it, right? So there's two parts, right? Or I could say, here, here, Ethan, Ethan, take take the book. Ethan, take the book. No, take the book. Just take it. No, truly, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. Take it. Right? So Another part of forgiving is letting go. Right, so there's two parts. Thank you, Ethan. No, you did very well. Right? <laughs> okay, so there's two parts to forgiveness. There's the part of our accepting or receiving forgiveness, and there's the part of the giving and letting go of forgiveness. Now, we read in the gospel teaching today, in the gospel, Jesus said, if you don't forgive your brother, neither will God forgive you. Now, do you think that means that God is sitting in heaven full of resentment, waiting for me to forgive somebody so that he can forgive me? That he's just holding all this resentment in heaven? Does that make sense? Is that the kind of God you know? Of course not. So when he says you have to forgive others in order to be forgiven, he's not talking about the end of his end. God has let go. God's not holding resentment against anyone. Right? God, can you just imagine this God? I mean, this, that would not be a God worthy of worship. That would be like one of the pagan gods who get angry and fornicate and do all kinds of rotten things. But that's not what our God is like. Right? Our God doesn't hold resentment or hold grudges. But then what can that mean when it says, if you don't forgive others, neither will you be forgiven? Ah, yes, the two parts of forgiveness. God is willing to let go, but are we willing to receive? And that's the hard part. Because if I am not least beginning trying to forgive my neighbor, or maybe not even my neighbor, my ex-spouse, or my child, or my parent, right? Because it's usually the people who are closest to us that hurt us the most deeply. And they're the hardest ones to forgive, right? What, what's the problem? The problem is, as long as I'm holding a grudge, right, I can't receive the forgiveness. As long as I'm, oh, you know, burning inside with some kind of frustration or anger, as long as I'm saying, he has to say sorry first, right? 
He has to repent first. He has to come on his knees. Then maybe I'll forgive him. Right? As long as that's in our heart, it's very, very difficult to receive the forgiveness that God freely gives. Now, I know from first-hand experience, I mean, anyone, probably, just about anyone in this room could preach this sermon. Forgiveness is hard. And it often begins with very, very little steps. A, a message, a sermon I heard when I was a teenager really helped me get started. Um, some of you know, I was abandoned as a child, grew up in foster homes and orphanages. Uh, I had lots of people I needed to forgive. Someone said something to me when I was a teenager. It was in a, a sermon. He said, if you can't forgive someone, then at least be, um, want to forgive them. You know what? I just can't forgive this person. I want to forgive him, but I just can't. Okay, good. But in my case, I didn't even want to forgive him. So what do I do, right? I know I'm supposed to forgive him. And if I can't forgive him, I should at least want to forgive him. But I didn't even want to forgive him. And so you know what the next step is? If you, can't, if you don't want to forgive them, then at least want to want to forgive them. And if you don't want to want to forgive them, then at least want to want to want to forgive them. Right? Some of us have to start about 27 wants back. But it's a start. It's a beginning. Okay, this person really hurt me. They deserve all my anger. I have a right to be angry at them. But at some level, I know I have to release that. I have to let that go. And I don't even want to let that go. And I don't even want to want to let that go. But maybe, maybe I can at least want to want to want to let it go at some level and start to ask God and come with humility and say, wow, forgiving is really hard. You must be a great God that you forgave us all our sins. And just call out to him for help and for mercy and begin. And if it takes 40 or 50 or 60 or 80 years, or maybe it's not even done till you're a few hundred years in heaven, it's okay. We've got eternity. It's more a matter of going in the right direction than it is about crossing some finish line. Right? There's, no, there's no finish line. Just, just take some small turn, small step in the right direction. God will accept it, and he will complete it in you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.